try to cover everything today, but if we run out of time, there'll just be a couple of things that we maybe have done a little bit too lightly. But uh, everything is everything is going to be on the final. Yes. Uh, are you going to be doing proficiency tests uh, in the office after class? Yeah. It, uh, after class, it, I'm going to be in the 242 in the computer homework center room for the first, uh, first hour, and then I'll be in my yeah, office for the next hour after that. I still have, still have a lot of people that need to take, take the makeup. All right, we're talking about sound waves and how... The same thing can happen with sound waves as we had happen with transverse waves on a string, namely that the waves can bounce off the boundaries and interfere. The, uh, the, the bounce wave can overlap with the incoming wave and interfere. And uh, we can get standing waves. So the question arises, where would the sound be silent? You know, if, if there's a if there's a, a single frequency sound that's plane wave and bounces off a wall, and the, the wall means that it has to be a displacement node at the wall because that's what a solid wall is. The gas molecules cannot vibrate into the wall, so there can be no motion at the wall. So the motion.